Here's our first look at the Techno HD2 tabletop CNC router. It has a 2136 inch process area, precision ball screws on all three axes, a two horsepower HSD high frequency spindle, vacuum T-slot table for easy part fixturing, automatic tool calibration touch off pad, and linear rails and bearings. It also has this easy to use handheld interface. It's homing right now. And this thing's ready to use right out of the box. We're simply gonna set our origins for X, Y, and Z and we're ready to run a program. Okay, now the machine's powered up, all we need to do is set the Z and the X and the Y location before we start our program. To do that, it's real simple. We just jog the machine in position, get it close, and then we'll use our auto touch-off block. And our Z is set. Set our X and Y, we're just going to jog the machine to the corner of our material. I can put it into step mode and I can get even closer. Once I'm happy with my spot, I just simply hit the X, Y equals zero button. Ask me if I want to use this coordinate for X and Y. Just click OK. And now my X, Y, and Z are all saved and ready to go. Now I just need to grab a program and hit start. All right, we are ready to run our Techno HD2 2136 tabletop for the first time. We have got the dust collection hose plugged in. We're borrowing from the larger machine. We've also got the vacuum pump piped in. We're just piping that right out of the uh, rear of the machine. And we're coming down, adapting to our larger vacuum hose and we're going right into our large Becker vacuum pump. Again, borrowing that from the larger machine. It's real easy to bring a file over to the machine. Simply plug our USB into the back of the machine and then we can scroll through to the menu and pick the file. The menu, USB files and there we have more than one. I just hit OK. And then one to load and that file is ready to run. All we need to do now is hit the start button. This machine does have full override control at the machine, which means we can increase or decrease the feed rate if the program runs. We can also adjust the RPM of the spindle up or down as well. And that's all done on the fly in real time. One thing you'll notice is this machine has a seven and a half inch Z-axis clearance, which is quite impressive for a tabletop system. This is going to give you lots of flexibility to run very thick parts, whether you want to do engraving or cutting large pieces of foam or a variety of other materials. This gives you lots of room to work with. Also a variety of other options available for this machine, uh, dust collection, vacuum pump, the steel base with casters, which we've actually got equipped on this machine right now, which you can see. Also uh, hold down systems, we've got a variety of those available for this machine. Also a coolant system, and even a fourth axis rotary table with a tail stop, also an option. One of the last and final options for this machine, which is probably the most popular, is the full safety enclosure. We can actually ship this machine with the full safety enclosure, which means the entire machine is covered while it's running, really popular with educational systems and classrooms. The 
this has been a first look at our Techno HD2 2136 tabletop CNC router. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to see new videos in the future. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at ptmachinery.net. Thank you.